we've got a curve with the equation y is equal to the square root of 3x add 11. The point p on the curve has x coordinate 3. Show that the tangent to the curve has the following equation. So we're supposed to show the tangent to the curve has this equation here. So what we're going to need to do is we want to do an equation of the form y subtract y1 is m x subtract x1, where x1, y1 is a point on the curve uh, and where the tangent touches it and m is the gradient. So we need to find those two things. So firstly, let's get an easy mark by first of all working out what the y coordinate is. So if our function, if we have y is equal to the square root of 3x add 11 and we have that x is equal to 3, then y must be equal to uh, 3 multiplied by 3 is 9 plus the 11, y must be the square root of 20. And the square root of 20, uh, that simplifies as root 4, root 5, or 2 root 5, like that. So y is 2 root 5, x is equal to 3. So our pair of coordinates are 3, 2 root 5, as follows. Now we need the gradient. So in order to get the gradient, we need to differentiate our function. So y is equal to 3x add 1 to the power of a half. Let's firstly put it in index notation so we can differentiate. So dy by dx would therefore be equal to, in this case, you bring down the power of a half, you differentiate inside the brackets to get 3, you keep the bracket as it is, and you reduce the power by 1, as follows. Okay, so this would simplify to dy by dx, therefore would be the 3 stays on top, the 2 ends up on the bottom, and this here, this square root, also ends up on the bottom, 3x add 11. So that's our dy by dx, and what we want to do is we want to work out dy by dx when x is equal to uh, 3. So we substitute 3 into this equation, so it would be 3 divided by 2, the square root of, again, that would be 20, and we'd rationalise that, so we'd multiply on top and bottom by root 20, uh, well, actually, no, this would be 3 over root 20. We already said it's 2 root 5, so this would be 4 root 5. And we'd multiply on top and bottom by root 5. So we'd get 3 root 5 over 20. Okay, so what we could do, also with our calculator while we're doing that, we could have, just double check this is actually true. So if we type in 3x add 11 like that, to the power of 0.5, and we're substituting in x is equal to um, 3, we get that as the answer, 0 0.335, blah, 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 and 3 root 5 divided by 20 is the exact same thing, so we know we've done it right. So there we go, we've got our gradient now, so now we need to put it in the correct form, so y subtract our y value was 2 root 5 so we have 2 root 5 is equal to m which is this 3 root 5 over 20 x subtract 3 multiply everything through by 20 so we have 20 y subtract 40 root 5 is equal to 3 root 5 x subtract 9 root 5 and let's look up here to see what way we want it and we want 3x we want it in that form there with a 3x in it. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to um, subtract the 20y and subtract this off both sides. So we get 0 is equal to 3 root 5x. Okay, Subtract 20y. And then we'd get negative 9 root 5 plus uh, 40 root 5, which would be negative, uh, which would be positive 31 root 5. Okay, what we can do now is we can divide everything through by root 5 because we wanted it in the form they gave. So we divide everything through by root 5 and we get the, fo uh, we get the following. So we get 3x subtract 20 over root 5y plus 31. And we could rationalise this element here. So it would be 3x if we multiply top and bottom by root 5. Uh, we would end up with, well, we could type it in our calculator, 20 over the square root of 5, and our calculator tells us that's 4 root 5, so we get to subtract 4 root 5y 
add 31. And then in the original question, that is exactly what we were asked to show. Now it says, the normal to the curve at P crosses the y-axis at Q, find the y-coordinate in the form K root 5. So the normal to the curve at P, which is at the same point, crosses the y-axis at Q. Find the y-coordinate. Okay, so firstly, what we can state for the next part, we can state that for part B, the gradient of the tangent we had previously stated up here was 3 root 5 over 20. So it was 3 root 5 over 20. So therefore, the gradient of the normal is going to be the negative reciprocal, which would be negative 20 over 3 root 5, which we could rationalize. So just tap that in the calculator. So be negative 20 divided by 3 root 5, and that's negative 4 root 5 over 3. That's negative 4 root 5 over 3, like that. Okay, so that's the gradient of the normal, and we have the point as well. So y subtract, the point was 3, 2 root 5. So y subtract 2 root 5 is going to be equal to negative 4 root 5 over 3, x subtract um, 3, like that. So that's the equation of the normal. Now it asks you, it says the normal cro uh, the normal to the curve crosses the y-axis. So let's just think something that crosses the y-axis. Something that crosses the y-axis is there, it's when x is 0. So what we can do to find the y-value, we set x to be 0. So x is equal to 0. So therefore we'd have y subtract 2 root 5 is going to be equal to negative 4 root 5 over 3 zero take away negative three just be negative three so therefore y subtract two root five is going to be equal to this these two multiply together the the negative multiply by negative gives me a positive and you've got to divide by three multiply by three so they cancel each other you get a four root five and adding the two root five to both sides you would get that y is equal to six root five and it says give your answer or uh, the, the y coordinate in the form k root 5 so therefore in this case k is going to be equal to 6 and we're done